Hola, 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 lovelies. Hello. I hope everyone is doing well. So I'm going to be doing a look. And how I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be breaking it up into little pieces. So during the week, you're going to be seeing a video on the eye application and then everything on all the products that I've used. And on Friday, I will post the picture that's going to show the end results. So um, for time's sake, I just break up the video so that way everyone can see it. Every day I'm going to be posting so you can see it. So what we're going to do, start off with, is by doing the eyeshadow. Um, and what I'm going to do is, most likely, I'm going to do one eye, normal speed. Um, so that way, if you need to go back and you need to rewind, so you can learn. Um, and then the other eye, I'm just going to pause the video so I can do the other eye. Um, just for time sake of the video. So I'm going to do the one eye normal um, and then I'll come back with the other eye done. Okay So the first thing we're going to do of course when we are applying our eyeshadow um, And makeup is we are going to be using our primer. I'm going to be using the VFX Pro today um Remember, you have to prime um, before makeup application. And the reason for that is because primer is actually silicone. It's not watery, so it's not going to go into your pores. It's not going to seep into your pores. What it's going to do, it's going to sit on your skin and it's going to fill in any um, wrinkles, anything that you have on your skin is going to fill it in and it's going to create a nice canvas for you to apply your makeup. That's the purpose of the primer, okay? So I'm applying the primer all over. I applied it on all my five points. Oh, this primer feels amazing. It's nice and velvety. It feels amazing. And I apply it all over my face, making sure I get everything wherever I'm gonna apply makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to put a base. So when you're gonna do eyeshadow application, you want to put on concealer. You want to put something on your eye that's gonna be like a base. I'm gonna be using today the stick concealer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it on my eye. And then I'm going to be using the brush, a concealer brush. Just to basically, it's a concealer brush and I'm just going to go now. And I'm just gonna smooth it out, put it all over the eyelid. You see that? And I'm just going to smooth it all over the eye. Here you have your white bait your white base so when you put on your eyeshadow instead of putting it on your natural skin it's gonna pop more because of the concealer okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to seal this concealer by Putting the translucent, the transparent powder, that's going to seal it. So that way it doesn't go creasing with your oils that go, um, your eyes generate oil. So if you don't put the translucent, the transparent powder on, 
what happens is you're gonna start getting lines and it's gonna go through also with the eyeshadow you'll be able to see it so you want to make sure that before you put on that transparent powder that there is no creases on your eye so you're gonna grab the transparent powder and just apply it all over your eye and it's gonna seal it and it's gonna keep all those oils that you generate in your eyelid it's gonna keep it at bay and you're gonna have a smooth canvas so you can basically do your eyeshadow application and you don't have to worry about creases see that isn't that great wonderful Okay, so now I'm going to be using, today for the eyeshadow, I am going to be using um, this palette, and you can get this palette on my store, and it's called Iconic, and it's a, it's a very pretty palette. Look at those colors. So I'm going to be using this one as a transition color, I'm going to be using this in the crease, and I'm going to be using this in the corner. I might add a little bit of black. I'm not sure. I'm debating about it. But for sure, these three colors are going. Okay? Which is um, Idol, Passion, Myth, and most likely Black Truffle. Not sure yet. So, I'm going to be taking a, a big blending brush. And I'm going to grab that color right here. And that I'm gonna apply that all over my eye. That's gonna be my transition color. Okay. It's a shimmer, so you most likely you're gonna see a little bit of shimmer. So I'm applying it all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I'm going down in the corner and then I'm applying it on my lid. And in the inner corner as well. And I'm covering the whole eyelid. It's a very pretty color. I'm not sure if you got ladies can see it, but it's a very pretty color. Okay, now I'm gonna go with a crease brush and I'm going in and I'm going to grab this color Passion, which is kind of like a pink. Usually what I do is when I'm doing um, makeup, how I choose my makeup, it goes basically with what I'm wearing. Um, that's usually what I go with. Unless you want to go with a natural look, you can't go wrong with natural. If you're going to use natural eyeshadow and like a brown liner and natural lipstick, that matches with everything. Um, I usually, I'll go natural, but there's times where I will, and that's how I pulled the colors that I want for today, which is like the light pink color and also that dark pink with the white and the black. So that's how I chose my colors, okay? So now we're going to go with that color, Passion, with a crease brush. And what this brush basically does, it just works the crease. You're applying your eyeshadow right in your crease. Your crease is, for those of you who don't know, your indentation right here. That is your crease. And you're going to be doing what's called the windshield wiper back and forth. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that Passion. And right, starting from the corner, I'm going to apply it and I am going back and forth and I'm bringing it down, all the way down to the corner of my eye, staying in the crease, I am going back and forth. Remember, you want to grab very little, and then you go applying, um, you go building it, okay? Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of more of that passion, and I'm going to go to the corner, 
and I'm just gonna go up and down and then in circular motion in the corner and then I'm gonna bring it a little further up since I have hooded eyes the corner I usually bring it up just a tad bit and then I bring it down a very pretty palette that has so many different colors and you can just do so many different looks with it I love this palette again I'm going and I'm grabbing more I'm gonna hit the corner again in circular motions and then I'm going up in circular motion I'm blending it blending it in a little bit And I'm bringing so I'm bringing it back down just to add a little bit more of the eyeshadow to the corner. Can you see that? It's a very pretty pink. Okay. Let's add a little bit more. That's my problem area. Since I have hooded eye, I need to bring it up just a tad bit higher than my crease and then I'm just in going all the way down and putting it all the way down look at that it looks so pretty I love it okay so now what I'm gonna do this look is a little bit advanced um, so I hope you ladies just practice just practice okay so now for the inner eye what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take off some of that product and I'm then I'm gonna add some more concealer so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take hold on I'm going to take um, a Q-tip and I'm going to be using our makeup remover. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the Q-tip to the to the the tip, and I'm just going to get product on there, make it a little a little wet until the Q-tip is basically kind of like saturated. You can also take it off. Let's take it off. Just put it in and then just grab it. Okay. Then we're going to go in and we are going to take off from the corner of the eye underneath the crease, not going too far up. And going halfway and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be putting a white in the corner and since I already have eyeshadow on there I'm taking away the eyeshadow so that way the white could really pop okay some of you might think um, that's kind of double work it kind of is but if you want to have the look, basically, that's just another another look that you can do. It's a little more work, but um, it's totally worth it. You'll see. So I'm going to take the concealer again, and I'm going to just apply some more concealer right where I took off. Okay. And then I'm going in with my concealer brush and I'm just going to dab it and fill in right where I took off. The product, the eyeshadow. Okay. 
okay and then I'm gonna go back with my transparent powder the setting powder the translucent powder however you want to call it we call it transparent powder and I'm gonna grab some of that and I'm just gonna dab it on there Also, when you put the transparent, the translucent powder over the concealer, it makes for very easy um, eyeshadow application. It just basically glides on. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a packing brush. This is the packing brush. Okay. This is the packing brush. Yeah, I think that's the packing brush. I have so many brushes, I have to make sure. Hold on one second. Yeah, I think I could work it with this one. Oh, here it is. I grabbed the wrong one, actually. This is actually a cream shadow um, brush. This is the packing brush right here. They look similar. Okay, so what I'm going to be using for the white, I'm going to be using my neon. This is from Zoo Color. This is um, the neon palette. And I'm going to be applying this white color right here, which is um, called Mercury. So how you do it is you, when you're using a packing brush, you go from side to side, side to side, side to side. And you pack it in the brush. Okay. And then you go and you dab it on your eye. You dab it. You see, and this is gonna make this color really pop. Since I took some of the color off and I put the concealer back on, and now this color, had I left the other eyeshadow on underneath, it would have been a little bit harder um, when you're putting this color on for it to kinda like show and you just dab it on you dab it dab it dab it leaving it halfway don't go all the way to the corner okay look at that very pretty. It's kind of like a silver color. It looks white. But then when you put it on, it kind of looks like a silver color. Okay, so now we have enough. We've packed it on. I just want to make sure I have it all. Now I'm gonna go and I am going to go back to my Iconic palette. And now I'm gonna take that color Myth, this one right here, and I'm going to be using what's called a precision blending brush, which is basically just for the corners. It focuses right on the corner. So I'm gonna be grabbing this Myth color and in circular motions, I'm going to be adding that extra color for that extra depth. And just bringing it in just a little. We're doing a little V at the corner. You stop at the crease and you bring it in. How pretty now I think I am gonna go with the black so I'm gonna clean the brush this is basically it's called clean sweep you can get this in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and basically what you do when you want to change colors you just go in circular motions and 
you're able to grab the other color. So now I am gonna go in with that myth right here. And again, with the precision, I'm gonna grab it and I'm just going to apply in the corner Going in circular motions and blending it out. Remember, ladies, blending is key in achieving any eye look. Blend, blend, blend. And if you're not sure, blend some more. so pretty. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, but I don't want to bring it in too much because I, I want to show the myth. So I'm bringing in just a little, but not too much. And look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I have a little bit of fallout here, but that's okay. Basically, I'm going to take, um, we have uh, the, where is it? Our makeup wipes, which are amazing, okay? And then you take the makeup wipe. If you don't want to use too much of it, you can just see, I go breaking them up just to save. Especially if you're going to just clean up, you don't want to use a whole one. So I just basically break it up and then I go dabbing just to take off that makeup that's there. I can go back later on and I'll add a little bit more primer. But there you go. Look at how pretty. Just dab it. You don't have to pull on it very lightly. And look, all the makeup, the fallout is gone. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other eye and I'll be right back. That was using the iconic palette. Hi, so I'm back. Okay, so. I'm done with the look. I did the other eye. The only thing that I did um, off camera was I went back with this blending brush. I cleaned it off and then I just went back and I blended everything together and I just took away all the harsh lines. But basically this is the look. And we're not done yet. So, stay tuned tomorrow because we're going to continue with the makeup. We're not done with the eyes yet, but for now we are. So, stay tuned tomorrow. I'll be posting another video, continuing with the makeup look. And on Friday, you will see the end results. And don't forget to distribute the knowledge because it helps me a lot. So, hit that button. Share away. Thank you. Bye. Adios.